What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. Here we have this amazing device from Samsung, the Galaxy A52, and I'm here to share the battery test results for this particular phone today. I did unbox this phone a couple of days back, uh, so if you have missed that video, I will leave that link in the description, go ahead and watch that. I've been using it since then, so the full review will come out in the next couple of days. In that video, I'll be sharing my experience with this phone. Now let's go ahead and check out the real life battery test results of Samsung Galaxy A52. As we all know this phone has 4500 mAh battery which is normal these days for any mid-range or flagship phones. However, the optimization with the Snapdragon 720G chipset is just amazing. Alright, now I have tested this phone on two different settings. One is with 90Hz refresh rate with power saving mode turned off. And the second setting is with 60 hertz display and power saving mode turned on now in the first scenario the adaptive battery was on power saving mode was off always on display was set to tap to show then dark mode was on adaptive brightness was on of course the first setting was with the 90 hertz display without the power saving mode turned on with this setting i have got about eight hours of screen on time which is amazing uh, i have used youtube for about 3 hours 40 minutes uh, then we got Netflix for about half an hour, Call of Duty was for about 47 minutes, camera was used for about 13 minutes and as you can see many other applications here. So this 8 hours of screen on time with 90 hertz display is really cool. And as you can see here uh, the phone was used for about one day 10 hours which is almost about one and a half day in a real life scenario. Do note that I did some calling also during this period about one hour the phone was engaged on calls. Now coming to the second settings wherein I turned off this 90Hz display and set 60Hz display on and the power saving mode was turned on. Even in this case the adaptive battery was on, always on display was set to tap to show, dark mode was on, adaptive brightness was turned on. With this setting I have got about 10 hours of screen on time where the phone was used for about 2 days. So as Samsung said, it lasts almost about two days and this is on a moderate usage. If you are a very heavy user with this setting, easily you can push the phone to about one day plus, which seems to be fantastic for this battery capacity. In this scenario, I have used YouTube for about four hour, 20 minutes. Netflix was used for about one hour. Amazon Prime Video for 42 minutes. Then Call of Duty for about half an hour. The camera was used for about 15 minutes and all the other applications on this list as you can see here. Again, the phone was engaged on calling for about two hours. So with the moderate usage, I could push the phone to two days with these settings on the phone. While sharing these results, I remembered the battery test results of Galaxy Note 10 Plus, which offered almost similar screen on time. So to sum it up, this phone delivers an amazing battery endurance where the phone can be used for more than one and a half days and can be pushed to two days with a moderate usage. I hope this information will be useful for some of you guys who are planning to buy this phone. That is all I want to share with you guys. Stay tuned for the full review of this device and uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button to watch some cool contents on Samsung Galaxy phones, Galaxy watches and Android applications. That's about it. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.